All right, so we're checking out the only game where you make terrible decisions to make money with hitchhikers in order to go to your grandmother's house so that you can utilize the organs of your good friends to paint pictures Bob Ross style. It's Car Hazard. More entrails, damn it. Car Hazard just had a bunch of updates and the developer said that there's new ways to die stupidly as well as additional endings. I can't imagine how it could get any worse than dancing while flailing the organs of your best friends around so that you can create a vegan looking picture with them. But I'm willing to find out. See that right there? See that's us right there. Nice blonde girl. Yeah, that's Florida Woman. That was her name. Actually, I think it was just Florida Man because I couldn't fit the letters for Florida Woman. See those two young women right there that are kind of chilling out with her? Yeah, they're inside of her briefcase now in pieces. See now, if the Butcher's Knife air freshener was here originally, I would have known what was coming from that one ending. Enter your name. In the update, did they make it so that you could put more letters in? They did not. There, I could fit Florida girl in there. It, it, we're like the millennial Florida girl. See, do, do we kill people and possess alligators feloniously? Yes, but we also drink white mocha frappuccinos and try to keep gluten out of our diets. There's a, there's a teddy bear that wants to get into my car. I like how the interests are talking and jokester. What about like, Thunder, or what was it, like impregnating cashiers? Whatever, 50 regret bucks is 50 regret bucks. Let's do this and see how he kills us. A nice and fluffy teddy bear sits on the back seat. He has a happy smile, an adorable face, and a stylish bow tie. I feel quite soothed. I could have accepted a much more stranger passenger. Like who? Pretend you've recognized him. Copyright doesn't exist where we're going. You look kind of familiar. Yes, yes, I'm an actor. It must have been when I was in that comedy show about a fairyland in which there was a war between aliens and unicorns. Hopefully the unicorns win. This is what happens when you get actors that use a lot of cocaine. They have a tendency to be in movies and then forget what they did. My name's Florida Girl, so you're Bob, right? Bob indeed, nice to meet you, Florida Girl. To be honest, the director of Fairy Away was a jerk. I hate to say rude things, except when it's true. <laughs> what? Don't worry. I'm a simple girl with a simple car, and I have simple desires. Drink Starbucks, get my nails painted, take selfies with my friends, and then utilize them as delicious, festive organ decorations. Why are you going to the south? Why do you need to hitchhike if you're a movie star? The whole point of this game is to piss people off. We're going for B. I can't drive because I'm a cute teddy. My foot can't touch the pedals, so I'm stuck with other people. I mean, it would have been kind of creepy, but you could have just, I know what you did last summer to my car and I would have never known. I can understand, at least you have friends to ask for. Oh, don't go pulling that card, Florida girl. You had friends too. You know, before your freaking knife started tickling their bowels. Do you like puns? Oh Christ. He goes, do you want to hear a joke about paper? Never mind. It's terrible. You know what, Bob? I've heard worse. So, I just asked the bear if he paid the second he got into the car and he dubiously nods and I can't control my grin anymore. I abruptly stopped the car to unlock the doors in Bob's belt. Am I about to kill someone because their sense of humor belongs on a 40 year old man? A real pleasure. I push him with all my strength out of the car. The teddy bear flies away and I turn on the engine. That joke was too much for me. Way much for my delicate heart. Sure it was. You toy with my heart and I'll flay you alive and apparently toy with your epidermis. We've got a new girl here. Her name is Sam. She's a mathematics student. She loves stories and musical theaters. 15 bucks, but I'll make you smile. Sam, you've piqued my interest. Come on in, tell me how you're gonna make me smile. Smile and reassure her. Be intimidated by such a beauty. 
She apparently is a princess from another universe and I don't feel like speaking. She's a mathematics student. She could be like an Instagram thought for all we know. I can't compete. I'd rather stay focused on the road. Hi, I'm Sam. How are you? Thanks a lot for the ride. You're the devil, aren't you? I know how this game works. Why are you doing such a trip, Will? I need to do something down there. Handle things. Rearrange stuff. Like people's body parts. I'm disappointed. I was expecting a pleasant company. A funny one for once. But she doesn't look like talking. Try a pun. Ask what is her favorite movie. The last time a pun happened, someone went flying out of the car. Which means that's exactly what we're picking. Why do bananas need sunscreen? Because they peel. I just felt my sperm count go down. It's complicated to hide genuine disgust. And Sam is quite skilled to do so, as 18-year-old students are. She tries a brief grin and finally says, You're a funny one. Sam resumes her action and starts texting some of her friends, I guess. She screams, a cat is crossing the road only a matter of time before the crash. It's a cat. I can handle the situation. Politely tell her to stay quiet. <laughs> Shut up, Sam. Stay calm. No one is on the opposite road. I nimbly turn the wheel and we dodge the poor cat. God damn it, I should have applied the brake. What the hell, I was just driving, but I suck so much that the car ends up facing the other way in a crazy spin. The wheels screech, a roaring boom echoes in the nocturnal silence. I managed to dodge a bullet with the last one only to die into a cr- Well, I'm not dead yet, hold on, maybe I'll be fu- Son of a bitch. Did you think I was gonna let this go without choosing this option? I need to know. Time to die, bitch. I violently press the brake pedal. The wheels screech against the ground. However, I've made a huge mistake. I haven't looked in the rear mirror, nor have I seen the truck just behind me. Hopefully the truck manages to stop a few inches from my bumper. Sam and I exchange a sigh of relief, but her look gives me the chills. Can you stop the car a moment? I need some air. Oh, this is a completely different scenario from the last time, sure. Where the hell did this forest come from? Weren't we in the desert? Sam gets out of the car to relax. Anytime there's a random forest, someone's going to die. I join her and begin my contemplation of the landscapes. I'm completely lost in my thoughts, so I don't react when a piping sound echoes in my back. I would not have even moved if I hadn't feel something forcefully hit the back of my head. What the sh- I'm gonna die to a girl that eats banana bread and iced blueberry tea. My whole body falls to the ground because of the power of the strike. The knock was extremely violent. I can barely hear a thing. It's tingling in my ears. A dark veil falls under my eyes. I hardly see a thing. What the hell is she gonna do? I managed to raise my body so I could hopefully distinguish what had hit me. Surprisingly, Sam is the only person there. She appears to have a metallic bar in her hands, which is coming out of nowhere, and she must be staring at me expressionless. The situation makes no sense. I don't understand. Why would she do that? This is insane. Why did you kill your two friends? No one has the answers. I hear her footsteps. A young woman bends down, but it's hard to clearly see her. I can only notice one thing. Her eyes have changed. There's no compassion, no pity. They are empty like an infinite void. It is the devil. Now her piercing glare is a diabolical behind her spectacles. You're just a bad dr- <gasps> She punches me in the face! <laughs> I'm gonna get tortured to death because I can't drive for the shit. I would have never imagined to be a victim one day. I swallow my saliva filled with blood. My sister died one year ago in a car crash. She was just an innocent passenger. I was trying to avoid a cat. I wasn't DUI, but the driver wasn't qualified. His moves were too slow and he wasn't paying attention. That's why I'm the one verifying if people are qualified or not. I'm sorry to tell you this, Florida girl, but you have to disappear. Now I can't allow someone as dangerous as you on the road. You are not trustworthy. No one should die because of your pitiful skills. This is so sad. I'm not being killed because I'm a murderer. I'm being killed because I can't drive perfectly. I struggle to escape, but unfortunately, my head is spinning. And any 
move seems out of the option. Sam has the perfect occasion, and she does not miss it. A sharp pain takes me at the back of my neck. I'm not allowed to think anymore. A dark shadow seizes me forever. Wow, two out of three I've died so far. I like how the ending for this is you should have stayed focused. Yeah, I should have focused on not dying more. <laughs> this is one of the passengers in Florida Man. God, he looks so familiar. Where have I seen this face before? He's the age of your dad. Entrepreneur, the owner of Wings and Rings, the world's first sports bar and jewelry store. The interests are beer and house plans. Man, this guy and I have a lot in common. Please get in the car, good sir. Florida girl, a guy enters the car with a confident grin. He slams the door as if the vehicle was his and leans against the back seat. Strangely, he appears a bit reserved. However, he suddenly changes his attitude and moves toward me. Drive, damn it. We won't wait until dusk. I'm Florida man and you- <laughs> When you have a Florida man and a Florida girl in the same car, Something bad's going to happen here. Hi, Florida man. I'm Florida girl. Nice to meet you. What the heck? How on earth can a guy be named Florida man? How do I freaking start a conversation with him very carefully? Is Florida man your real name? <laughs> I have to know. How could it not be? <laughs> the passenger flashes me a smile and shows a proud face. No one would be proud to be a Florida man, you liar. No one in their right mind who'd screw with me. I'm the only person who could kill their husband with an inflatable pool swan. <laughs> I feel like this guy has watched a lot of my videos. <laughs> the only person who dare microwave a microwave. The only person who'd rob a bank with a catfish. In short, I'm Florida man, bitch. Have you done those things? Florida man raises an eyebrow. <laughs> what did I just tell you? I'm no liar, damn it. <laughs> All right, so. How's your life? Now think, Florida girl, should I really get all friendly with a guy named Florida Man? I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. I should be careful. Hold on, I need to know. You don't have to force yourself for small talk, you know. If I want to do small talk, as you say, I'd tell you about my reputation. Is Florida girl going to die to Florida Man? It's going to be like Florida Perception. Your reputation? Haven't you been on the internet on the last few years? Florida man leans toward me and whispers, I've got quite a record. You must not know about Florida man. He's killed more people in universe sandbox. One day I was admitted to a hospital for two weeks, but I was so bored that I stole the ambulance and drove home. Once I've braked into a jail, to hang out with some friends. I don't know why, but the watchmen weren't delighted by that. Oh my God. And another day, a guy broke into my house. Do you know how I scared him away? No. I assaulted him with a fried chicken. Everything here is an article from Florida. This is all real. Jesus Christ. Get that man out of my car. Florida man's creeping on Florida girl. You've been driving for a long time, right? Why are you asking me that? Because I want to know. Can I tell you something? Go for it. If you enjoy something, you might as well make it your job. Unless it's drinking and driving. Don't do that because then I'll probably die. I don't want to die. Drive safely, please. If I die, no one will be around to feed my cat spleens. And she'll probably end up eating my life out of desperation. What? This, this, this game is amazing. This game has changed my life. And I know what I'm saying. I have flaws too. Although I don't want my cat to eat my wife. Spleens would never get over this. My point is, can I drive? You must be exhausted. So, what happens if you say no to Florida man? Girl, you know what? Screw this. Oh God, that was the wrong answer. What? That's when Florida man gets a catfish out of his pocket as all Florida men have, and leans closer to me. I don't like mean people, and I'm sure the catfish has the same opinion about you. Hey, Florida man, calm down. I don't under- That's when Florida man decides to go berserk and once again get a spotlight on Fox News. He violently takes the wheel and hits my head with his catfish. I can hear an alarming horn coming from afar, but the next thing I'm able to sense is the filthy odor of the fish. <laughs>
Florida man is safe. He gets out of my jalopy and harshly pulls me out of the vehicle. Mean people get what they deserve. The completely crazy man takes a gun out of his pocket. He doesn't have time to pull the trigger. I understand I'm doomed. Freaking hitchhikers. <laughs> Well, a Florida girl just got murdered by a Florida man. Here comes the end of the friggin' universe as we know it. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoy this episode of Car Hazard. Till next time, stay boxy and much love. <laughs>